Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at the terminal on the MacBook. To get into the terminal, press Command plus Spacebar, and then type in T-E-R-M-I-N-A-L, and then open that. And that's the terminal. Let's expand the screen so we can see more of it. And let's look at a few commands, basic commands. The first command, LS. If we hit Enter now, we can see the contents of this directory. This directory contains files of folders, desktop, downloads, movies, OneDrive, etc., and My First App. Now, if we wanted to see what's in the My First App folder, we need to go down into that directory. Let's go down to that directory by saying cd, let's change directory, into, and let's type that name, My First App. Now, how do we know we're in this directory? Well, there's an indicator here that shows that we're in my first app here. So let's now list the contents of this directory, ls, and enter. And here are the contents of my first app. There's a readme file, iOS, a test file, etc. We can now go down into the test file if we wanted to take a look at that. And that is by saying cd test. We're going down another level. And how do we know we're here? It says test here. Let's do an ls on that list to see the contents. And the content is a file called widget underscore test dot dart. Now, how do we get back to the top directory? We just type cd again. And are we really here? There's no indication here. Let's go ahead and type in ls. And we can see that the contents here are the same as they're up here. So that means that we're at the top directory. Let's look at a couple of other commands. Let's clear the screen. Let's say we want to make a directory. Let's first make a list to see what's out here. Let's make a directory called demo. And to do that, we type in the command mk for make dir. And then after that, type the name. Let's go demo. And now let's list it to see whether the file is really there. And there it is. There's the demo directory. Now, what if we want to remove that directory? Well, for that, the command is remove directory, which is rm. And then we type in the name demo. And then when we ls, we see that the demo file is no longer there. And that concludes the making and removing of a directory. Make directory is mkdir, and remove directory is rmdir. The command clear clears the entire screen. Now, let's look at a more advanced version of ls, or listing of contents. And that is the one that gives you a long listing of all the files. The command for that is ls space dash LA. When you type this, you get a lot of data. On the leftmost column, where you see the DR, WR, WXR, those are the permissions for each file. In another video, we'll cover how to set permissions. Permissions allow you to execute certain files if you want to. But this additional information may be helpful if you're trying to understand your file contents and permissions, because that might be a factor in whether something works or does not work. Finally, let's look at how to create a new text file. And for that, we use the nano command. And to do that, we're going to type nano myfile.txt. And it opens up a window into which we can type commands or text. This is often used to enter basic commands. For example, echo is a command that will just display some message. So let's enter a blank line. And then let's enter echo echo my file content and then an, another blank line. And now let's exit by pressing Control X and select yes here to say you want the saved yes to my file text and enter. And now let's list it again and see what we find here. 
we can see we've got a file here called myfile.txt. If you want to execute this, you do need to change the permission settings. But for now, we'll just go into that file. Open myfile.txt. And it's opened it up in a different window off screen. So let's close that. And to delete that file, we would type in rm myfile.txt. And now let's list again. And my file, which was up here, is no longer here. So those are some of the basic commands we've covered today. And I hope that was helpful. This will serve as a foundation for some of the other things we're going to implement. Thanks so much for watching.